JBN, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, woman constable arrested in the U.S. was previously suspended on corruption charges. Please remember to subscribe, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Local authorities say they are not cooperating with their international counterparts after Jamaican police woman attached to the zones of special operations Zozo was jailed in the United States on accusations of being a major player in a lottery scamming operation. She has been charged with conspiracy to commit fraud by wire and conspiracy to commit fraud by mail. The 18-year veteran employed to the Jamaica Constabulary Force JCF, Shelley and Shereen Allen, who resides in Stonebrook Vista, Trelawney, and is stationed in the parish of St. James, is accused of running a lottery scamming organization that is responsible for fleecing US dollars from mainly elderly victims based in the United States. The cop's 20-year-old son, who was also under investigation for lottery scamming, was also arrested. Allen is believed to have earned US dollars from scamming between 2019 and 2021, under what law enforcement officers in an affidavit have referred to as the Allen Lottery Scheme Organization. The affidavit was filed against her in the Eastern District Court of Wisconsin in Milwaukee on Wednesday, February 2, after months of investigations and admission of guilt by a number of accomplices based in the U.S. At least one of the 17 vulnerable or elderly victims identified lost her house, plus U.S. $150,000 in the scam, said the report. Allen was detained when she tried to enter Fort Lauderdale in the United States on September 2021. Border control officers were able to confirm her involvement in the crimes based on statements collected from her co-conspirators, the serial number in her iPhone 11 Pro, the IMEI, and her phone number. Yesterday, the JCF revealed that a 42-year-old has been suspended with immediate effect following her arrest. Allen, who was previously suspended by the JCF on corruption allegations over two years ago, was only reinstated in 2021. According to reports out of the United States, the policewoman has been on the radar of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security as one of the leaders of the scam since 2020. Monies were traced back to multiple accounts opened by Allen in the U.S., including a PNC bank account. She has been traveling between Jamaica and the U.S. for months. The investigation was a collaboration between the Brown County Sheriff's Office in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and postal inspectors with the U.S. Postal Inspection Service and law enforcement agencies from the U.S. and Jamaica. Special Agent with the Homeland Security Investigations, Thomas Koch, in his statement to the court, said the defendant conspired with others to devise and carry out a telemarketing and a mass marketing scheme that targeted vulnerable victims in order to defraud and to obtain money by means of materially false and fraudulent pretenses, representations, and promises. Allen and her co-conspirators reportedly identified elderly victims who had access to financial resources, and once targeted, the organization would contact the selected victim, informing them that they had won a large lottery, which they called the Publishers Clearing All Sweepstakes. Victims were told they needed to pay fees in order to get their winnings and would be contacted by phone, until all of their resources were depleted. Allen and her co-conspirators reportedly did so by unlawfully, willfully and knowingly conspiring together and agreeing to devise a scheme for the purpose of obtaining money or property by means of false or fraudulent pretenses, said the report. The policewoman and her team are believed to have transferred the money or property by means of wire transfers, postal money orders, bulk cash transfers, the mail, and other means which affected interstate and or foreign commerce. As a result of this conspiracy, Allen has been able to fraudulently enrich herself as well as her co-conspirators while ruining the lives of many of the victims, says the sworn affidavit. According to the report, the victim who alerted the police, providing the catalyst for the investigation, was contacted by the reported scammers in the summer of 2019 and told she had won eighteen million US dollars and a Mercedes Benz. She was urged not to disclose the winnings to her bank because it was a secret. The victim told the investigators that she received calls day and night from persons claiming to be lottery representatives with directive to send money in cash, postal orders, and a personal and cashier's checks made out to different individuals both in the U.S. and Jamaica. The victim was also directed to send bulk cash in order to receive her winnings. 
She eventually sold her house trying to secure 30,000 US dollars to meet the demands of the scammers. The victim lost 150,000 US dollars in cash overall to the scheme. Bank records obtained for Allen's PNC bank account show there were only two deposits into her account other than her initial account opening deposit. On February 14, 2020, there was a deposit of a Fox Communities Credit Union check number 2644 in the amount of 6,000 US dollars from victim number one. And on April 22, 2020, there was a deposit of a Fox Communities Credit Union check number 1344 in the amount of 4,000 US dollars from victim number one. These deposits are consistent with Allen being one of the primary beneficiaries of the scheme, as the money from victim number one went directly to Allen's account. On April 21, 2020, the victim wrote a personal check in the amount of 4,000 US dollars payable to Allen, read the report. The affidavit said bank accounts were obtained for Allen's PNC bank account from February 18, 2020 to February 24, 2020, the same period international travel confirms are in the U.S. Those records indicate that there were six withdrawals from various ATMs located in Florida for a total of U.S. $1,731.90. Records also indicate that there were three debit card purchases at La Quinta Inns totaling U.S. $831.68 from that account. Additionally, records indicate that there were 24 purchases at various retailers in Florida, including Gap Outlet, Marshalls, Macy's, Foot Locker, Old Navy, Elegance Perfume, Polo or Rolf Lauren, and Victoria's Secret, for a total amount of U.S. $2,440.43. The total amount withdrawn from the account for these transactions was U.S. $5,004.01. Allen previously served the JCF while being attached to the Hanover Police Division and later moved over to St. James, where she served within the Zoso in Mount Salem when it was first declared in 2017. She was later suspended for alleged corruption and while off duty, her family was struck by a tragedy when the father of her child, another police constable, Ron Buckner, was shot dead on the night of August 19, 2019, while sitting in a barber chair in Petersfield, Westmoreland. Allen won her case against the JCF in 2021, was called back to the force, and was since assigned to the Zozo in Norwood, St. James. Her colleagues within the Air One Police Division expressed shock on learning of her arrest in the U.S. on Friday. A fool do man that, but me still can't believe that she made them catch her again in a corruption, and she just get back her job, one officer within the Norwood Zozo said. No, no, we can't believe her family got through so much bad luck, and she made them catch her in a corruption. She shouldn't take heed after them kill her baby father in a Westmoreland. She get kicked out of the force. And if you imagine so she get back a bly and can dash with everything is a disgrace. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.